left. Oh my gosh, I guess so. <laughs> Out here, and then uh, I see where this would be better to the woodshop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is Starting Friday all the way through Sunday, we're giving Detroit residents the opportunity to experience self-driving car technologies. And so we're here with our partners, Data Speed, who is our vehicle partner, as well as PAVE, which is the Partners for Automated Vehicle Education, uh, as well as nine other organizations here to give the public really an opportunity to have a hands-on experience with the various technologies that are enabling self-driving cars. Uh, this time our LiDAR is going to see it slow down for it and then when it clears with more cars with about with a, <coughs> a fleet of vehicles there is a lot of concern right now. Uh, to spell it as far as I'm concerned, I, I really feel it's safety factor, uh, especially on the computer side of things. A lot of people are skept uh, skeptic about that. I think that it's just ignorance that keeps us from wanting to do this and once you experience it's marvelous. It's um, interesting that it's got overrides that you can if it's if your course has changed you can override it. It's very interesting to do that. But he's not doing any operations okay. for the whole demo, except in the teleop mode we'll okay. switch over. The key thing is to let people experience the car driving by itself. Just get that whole concept into their mind in a realistic way. But what I think is even more important is I think public confidence in autonomous vehicles has decreased, not increased over the last year for a variety of reasons. And people need to get to know it. They need to be hands-on. They need to see that it works. So what it can do is it can go down an alternate route, come to a stop. Uh, I thought it was um, interesting okay. how the, the car like found, like knew its route and then it could uh, identify things in, uh, in the road. So that's what we're here to do, is to really use the facts, use what's on the market today to explain what the capabilities are today, and then also give a glimpse into what can happen in the future in this research testing vehicle environment.